Today we're installing a Mad Jacks light kit designed for a club car precedent. Included in the kit is the headlight bumper, two tail lights, a main wire and harness including the switch, and a fuse wire assembly and zip ties. To do this, we're going to use a 10 millimeter and a 13 millimeter socket, an inch and a quarter hole saw, a T30 and a T15 torque bit, and a marking pin. We're also going to use two cordless drills, a number two Phillips tip, and a 7 16 drill bit, a tape measure, and safety equipment. Now let's get started. Our first step, we're going to drill the hole out for our push-pull switch. Today we're installing a Mad Jax bucket harness designed for a club car precedent. We're going to install this on two separate battery packs, one an 8 volt and one a 12 volt. On the 8 volt configuration, we're going to install a Mad Jax 16 to 12 volt reducer. But before we get started, we're going to explain the bucket harness. I'm going to show you first the tail lights. The only thing you need to be aware of here is the passenger side tail light has a yellow wire in the center of the three pin connector. Next we have our battery hookups. You have a yellow male connector as well as a female spade connector that hooks up to your batteries. We also have three wires that run to your brake switch. You have a female bullet connector, a female spade connector, and a male bullet connector. These hook up to your ultimate light kit upgrade. Last, we have a 12 pin connector which runs all the way to your front dash and plugs into your club car factory harness. Now let's get started. To begin, we're going to run our tail light wires through our body. The thing we need to remember here is that the yellow wire is for the passenger side. You can use a wire snake and retrieve your tail light harness when you cut out for your tail light hole. Now we're going to run our harness to our front dash. To do this, we're going to have to remove a lot of factory parts so we can get to our channels. First thing we're going to do is pop off the front of our body as well as take the floor mat and the brake cover off. Now that we have all of our full bore removed, we're going to run our harness to our front dash. We're going to start by running our 12 pin connector through the channel behind our forward reverse switch. Pull off this front cover, give ourselves a little more room. We're going to feed that 12 pin connector down through. Once it's through, we can feed our three wires for our brake switch in as well. You want to leave enough wire so that you can hook up to your battery pack. Now that we run our bucket harness through our access hole, we're going to take our brake switch wires and run them through the center channel and securely tuck them inside your brake cavity. Next, we're going to take our 12 pin connector harness, run it around and then slide it into the passenger side channel and this is going to run all the way into our dash. Now we're ready to remove our dash. We're going to remove three factory bolts. Now that we have our dash removed, we're going to hook up our bucket harness to our light kit main harness. This is the one that runs to the front bumper and headlight. You want to plug your two 12 pin connectors in as well as plug your gray wire from your bucket harness to your gray wire on your factory club car harness. Plug those two bullet connectors in. Now we're ready to attach our bucket harness to our battery pack. First thing we're going to do is put the card in tow. Next, as you'll see this is a four 12 volt configuration. It's a 2008 and newer club car precedent. 
So what we're gonna do, you have a black wire with a yellow male butt connector coming off of your bucket harness. You're gonna tie this in to the female connector attached to the factory harness. Next, you have a blue wire coming off of your bucket harness, which is gonna go on the number three wire male spade connector here. Once we have our dash removed, we're gonna take our knob off of our push-pull switch, as well as the first nut. First thing we're gonna do, insert that through the hole we drilled from the first step, reattach our nut, put our knob back on. Once we have our push-pull switch installed, we can attach our main harness. Main harness consists of a nine pin connector as well as four other wires that go to our ultimate light kit upgrade, two yellow wires which run to our push-pull switch, our 12 pin connector which mounts to our factory harness, and a six pin connector which we run to our front headlight. So the first thing we're going to do is attach our 12 pin connector, attach our push-pull switch, once we have our other wires safely behind the dash, we can run our six pin connector through our channel for our front headlight. Now that we've reattached our dash, we're gonna remove our front bumper. There's two bolts located behind the bumper. We're gonna use our 10 millimeter and our 13 millimeter socket and re retain those bolts. Remove our front bumper, we're not gonna need that anymore. The two bolts that we removed, one here, one here. We're gonna use these to attach our front headlight. We're gonna attach our headlight and bumper here and here using that factory hardware, just like this. Also, using the six pin connector that we ran through our front dash. We're gonna attach our headlight here. And these extra two wires are for the ultimate light kit upgrade horn. Once both bolts are in place, we can tighten. Now we can attach our six pin connectors and we can secure our harness with the zip tie provided. Next, we're gonna install our tail lights. We're gonna install our tail lights. What we've done is we've made a hole two and a quarter inches from the flat side of our curve here, centered, as well as an inch and a half from the top of our bumper, centered, drill the hole. What we're gonna do now, take a wire snake, Find your factory wire harness on this particular cart, and feed that wire through. Once you get your factory three prong wire pulled through, attach it to your tail light. Now we're gonna remove our tape. Feed our three prong back through. Press down your tape. You can also notice that on the bottom side of your tail light, it should hug the bumper like this. Now using the screws provided, we're gonna attach our tail light. Now we can repeat this process on the passenger side. Now that we have our tail lights installed, we're gonna hook up our fuse wire assembly. First thing we're gonna do is remove the seat bottom. And using our 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna remove the electronic component cover. Now we're gonna take our fuse wire assembly and going from the blue wire on the number four battery, plug our fuse wire assembly in. And there's also a 12 gauge blue wire on the passenger side 
of the component box we're going to plug in as well. Once all our wires are secured, we can reinstall our electric component cover and our seat bottom, and we're complete with our Majax Club Car Precedent Light Kit installation.